Green technology is powering the future, but storing it is more expensive than creating it. Rachel Wolf introduces us to the local engineer who's come up with the solution that is affordable and accessible for small businesses and homeowners. So this is our full-size unit. Zach Spencer shows us a prototype for his new energy storage device. It's about the size of a washing machine and can power two households a day. What we've developed is a unique way to store power um, that doesn't use any lithium. Um, it's, it's completely non-rare materials, very uh, easily found everywhere. Spencer runs Spencer Composites Corporation, an industrial automation company in Sacramento. He understands the green wave happening with wind and solar power. One of the problems with solar power is what do you do when the sun goes down? At this point in time, it's more expensive to store it than to create new energy. The bigger problem is what to do with it, says Brandy Andresen, who works for SunWorks, a national solar provider. Everybody wants to get away from their utility bill. They want to produce enough electricity to get away from their utility bill, but the utility won't let you produce more than 100 percent of what you're going to use. Spencer's team showed us the $10,000 prototype that harnesses the power of physics to harness the power of the sun. One finger lifts it up and down. Engineer John Garber says it starts with this rotor. When it's spinning in the energy story, it travels at about Mach 3, three times the speed of sound. And ends with this array of magnets, which channel the energy, creating a motor. If I can put in current and create torque, I can take torque out and create current. Mm -hmm. And the motor becomes a generator. Air is pumped out to create a vacuum, and that's when you have your storage device. So we have a contact-free system. Spencer says cold weather doesn't impact the performance, and it can charge or discharge as many times as you want without degrading. Lasting 30 years, that's three times what a lithium battery lasts. In production, this should be less than, than any chemical batteries like lithium ion or or lead acid or, or name. I think it's really fascinating and it seems like it's really out of the box. Andresen says given the government green initiative, it could spark a whole new industry of energy storage and warehousing for commercial and agricultural business. Everybody wants to go green. Everybody wants to help the environment, but at the end of the day, it needs to make economic sense.